Hey guys, so I just have a quick, cool um, little report to give to you guys. If you have, it's gonna, it's following my last video. So if you haven't watched my last video, this video is not really gonna mean anything to you probably or make sense if you haven't watched it. So I would say pause this video um, and then go back and watch the last video which is called In the Middle of the Night and it should be the video that I posted like about a week ago. Um, and I shared a testimony on there about um, a way that the Lord um, ministered to me um, through somebody else um, and it has to do with a kite so when you hear that then you'll know and then come back and watch this one which will be short um, I just want to tell you guys what happened because it's so cool and cool things happen like that and the Lord hears us and he um, gives us the desires of our heart and answers prayers and moves in cool ways but this so I'm not gonna come on and do that every time I don't come on and do that every time I just am in awe at how the Lord loves us and how he takes care of us and this though since I just did a video about it I'm like I have to share this so um, yeah if you go watch that one and then come back and watch this one if you really want to understand what I'm talking about but um, okay so in that video um, I told you guys the testimony about how I was ministering with the woman and that um, we were talking about um, a broken a broken part of my heart and um, my soul and how we were uh, working through bring healing and that sort of thing and um, I talked about a kite and so that was in the last video so that was I did that video last Saturday um, while I did that video my husband was sleeping my son was working for one of the neighbors on his property and did my video um, went about the rest of my week uh, didn't share anything about my video with my family didn't show them my video um i mean they watch them but in their own time so okay when it went around six days later ooh, actually sorry that caught my attention it's a little otter sneaking across the neighbor's lawn over there um so six days later uh we went to an evening church service my son goes to youth group and i walk down the hallway and i go get him and we're walking out and there's something sticking out of his pocket and um i I saw it sticking out of his pocket. I wasn't sure what it was. I, I don't know. Maybe I thought it had something to do with his guitar or I don't know. So we were just walking, see it for like a split second. He's like, oh, goes like this, pulls it out of his pocket, goes, mom, I got you a kite. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I just got this huge smile on my face, walked through the doors. And then again, I felt my eyes starting to get teary eyed. And I was like, wow, the Lord is so good. And so I wanted to share that because, um, this is so cool and it's not like a Dollar Tree kite it's like I'm excited I actually haven't even opened it yet because I wanted to um, tell my husband the story which I haven't had time to tell him yet and open the kite with the family and um, actually I wanted to fly it that night when we walked out of church but then a huge thunder and lightning storm broke out so I thought it was not a good idea to try flying my kite at that point even though there was wind um, anyway so I wanted to share this with you guys because it's just an illustration and you guys get to see like in real time how the Lord moved during my ministry session, um, even about something as simple as a kite, um, that desire of my heart and that healing and that joy. And then six days later, how that came about. And I wanted to tell you also to make sure that you're paying attention to those little things that the Lord sows into our daily lives that don't always go, oh, this is a gift from the Lord, but just these little simple beautiful things that are clearly provision from the Lord and we overlook them all the time so I was just wanting to point out how um, you know my son didn't know that I shared about that on my last video he didn't know um, actually I didn't even tell him that story about that time in my ministry before I know that he knows that I like kites um, so I wanted to tell you guys too how the Lord is so woven into our daily lives, even the smallest little desires of our heart and the smallest little details of our day that he, the Lord knew the desire of my heart. He used my son as a vessel. So here's what happened. He, they were at youth group and um, a boy won a prize, which was this kite. Okay, they played a game or something at the end and he won this kite as a prize. That young man gave this to my son because he had already won a prize the week before and then my son gave it to me so how sweet is that that the lord used all of these people the person the young leader who purchased the kite as a prize and then the boy who 
won the kite as a prize. And then my son who gave me the kite and the Lord is at the beginning because he orchestrated all of that. Look at all those vessels and steps that the Lord put together to bless me in that way. Isn't that so sweet? And he loves us that much. And, um, you know, maybe if you, maybe your mind, if you're not used to seeing and spotting those little ways that the Lord puts those special touches into our daily life, your first thought might to be like scoff at it, like, oh, it's a coincidence or it's karma or whatever. It's not, though. It's not. It's it was ordered by the Lord, and that is how he works in our life. And it's so sweet, and it's so exciting. And the cool thing, too, is all of those people were used as a vessel for the Lord, and they didn't even know it. They didn't even know that the Lord was using them as a vessel in this really special um, unfolding of something to bless me. So the other encouragement is um, know that... We are being used as vessels of the Lord even when we don't know it. Other people are being used as vessels of the Lord even when they don't know it. So just be open to the Lord and listen to those little nudgings. The Lord gives us these little subtle nudgings all the time. Go here, buy that, do this. And most of the time, a lot of the time, we don't know why. But the Lord is working things out. So get in tune with that. Get in tune with those little nudgings that the Holy Spirit gives you that and the more you hear them, the more you just trust them and you're like, okay, I know the Lord's doing something. I'm going to listen to that. And um, yeah, it's really cool. And what I was going to say too is that another cool point about that is even though all of those things and the end thing with the kite making it into my hands was a desire of my heart, I have no doubt that within all of those workings of the person buying it and the, the person winning it and then giving it excuse me, to my son and my son giving it to me, that the Lord was also weaving all these other things together to bless other people in other ways and teaching other people lessons. And there was all kinds of stuff going on in that progression. So it wasn't just all about me. Um, so it's cool the way the Lord works. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and I will be flying this um, as soon as I have some wind today. We have some stormy weather, so no wind, but um, thanks for tuning in. And I'm excited for you guys. If you're not used to seeing these little ways that the Lord works, I'm excited for you guys to start keeping your eyes and your spirit open to just finding those little ways that the Lord is constantly working on our behalf. Oh, maybe you can hear that thunder. <laughs> All right, um, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.